Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today we're going to be using a Dexterity Arcane build, with the main focus being the Morgoth's Curse Sword. I really just love this Curve Greatsword, has good roll catch potential, the Curve Greatsword moveset is good overall, and I absolutely love the Curse Blood Slice Ash of War. You can do two different things with that, if you do manage to land the initial part, you can go for the follow-up. I get roll catches with that. And if they get stunned by the follow-up bleed of the initial strike, so when you do the slice, the bleed explodes afterwards. If they get stunned by that, I like to do a heavy attack, because it actually combos into the stun. So some really good damage output there. Dex Arcane builds also have access to Rivers of Blood. Another fun one. This thing was once very overpowered, but now it's kind of balanced. I feel like it only does high damage on the Ash of War when you're extremely close to your opponent. So if you manage to space perfectly and get the actual sword connecting, it's going to do some really high damage still. Other than that, I just have a variety of bleed-infused weapons that still retain some other good dexterity scaling. As for the stats, I'm running 55 dexterity and 40 arcane, although I do swap to the Millicent's prosthesis pushing us to 60 dex after my ritual shield talisman has been broken. The only really useful armor piece here is the Mask of Confidence, as it does give you 3 extra arcane, so saves you 3 stat points. The rest of the armor is just fashion, I feel like kind of matches the Mask of Confidence, while also giving me high defense and poise. That's really all I have to say though, we're running Dex Arcane, but mainly focusing on Morgoth's Curse Sword. Let's just see how it performs in the invasions. Tilbur. Tilbur is in a very dangerous area, actually, he's really close to me, what? Compass disappeared instantly? Ah, hello Tilbur, what's going on here? You got a teammate back there, I do want to begin with him. <laughs> They were both panic rolling in every direction, and they still somehow got roll caught together. That's hilarious. Stormvale Castle. Oh, and they're headed down to the cool area. Hello, guys. What is in? What in the bull goats? Hello. <laughs> I rolled that too early. <laughs> That's my bad. That's funny. Whoa. Hello, Hammer Lad. How are you? Oh, he has one too. Okay, we're gonna have to dodge that. <laughs> they both have it. Oh my god, the meme. That's huge. <laughs> hey there. Hello. Whoa. Backstab the bullgo? Yes. Hopefully, I can dodge out of that on the wake up. Into the backstab? That'd be oh, the host died. No. The meme. Actually, that's pretty funny. <laughs> the dual America hammer is actually really strong. If you could both time it like staggered, you can roll catch so easily. Ooh, Lane Della Capital. Let's go. Hello there, Musashi. Miyamoto. Oh my god. Bleed build. Fellow bleed enjoyer. Hello. Uh, I'm going to do this. And get hit by a jump attack for half my HP. What the damage? I guess I don't usually get hit by full amounts of that jump attack and then there's a bleed proc waiting for me if I get hit by the next one. Hey there. We're definitely going to heal the bleed around the corner. Hey there, this guy is not good at cutting corners. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Hello there. How are you? <laughs> Your friend is up top though. I don't like that. He's looking for an ambush attack. Hello. Where did the twin blade guy go? I want to fight him first. Hey Musashi. This is for you, Moog. Haha, <laughs> Thorfinn. You thought Morgoth beats Moogwins. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Honestly, is this because it's a curved greatsword? Oh my god, I do want to mirror match him though, to be honest. It'll be funny. <laughs> Let's show him the way of the rivers of blood. The true way. <laughs> oh my god. That still does terrifying damage when you're up close. Like if the blade hits. So if you roll catch with it, which I usually try to do, get close and then go for the follow-up as a roll catch. It does so much damage. Oh, Castle Morn. Hello there, Oleg. How are you? Um, you look like you're running some type of dex build here. Hi there. I like doing that into this. And depending on what I'm fighting afterwards, if my Ash of War hits, we can easily get a bleed proc with the follow-up R1. Hey there. Hey, curved greatsword as well. Ooh, I'm liking that. What about the old-fashioned rivers? <laughs> Up close, it still hits pretty hard, so... I wouldn't say rivers is bad at all. Is your guy lying in wait over here? What's going on? 
Whoa. Hey there. You guys got like a corridor here of sneak attacks, huh? I didn't do nearly enough damage. Endure. Hmm. Endure on the twin blade, huh? Whoa, that goes pretty far. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was actually for Goldie. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm aware of what you're doing. Hyper armor. I thought you might continue. We dodged that. So he's got a multi-hit twin blade build, I see. What is his teammate doing back there? <laughs> oh, he tried to do the running heavy after hitting Endure. Interesting. Let's try and do this into his teammate. Oh, that was actually meant for the teammate, but the lock-on was pretty not on my side. Oh, I didn't realize this was the dead end one. I thought we were on the Claymore side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what else can we do? Let's get our defenses high quick. <laughs> Dragon breath. No thanks. I'd rather not partake. Not today. Hello. I was hoping the bleed might proc off there, though. There we go. There's the bleed. Whoa. Shit, that was stamina. Ouch. Brave of you, man. Honestly, going in for that when you had 2 HP. <laughs> he really didn't want to let me escape to heal. That kind of costed him the game. I normally don't do the follow-up, but you know what? You got hit by it, so... <laughs> Goodbye, Goldie. Good teamwork, honestly. Guys, we're keeping the pressure well together. What have we here? Kaguya. Okay. Oh, hello there, guys. What is this? Kaguya. I have a gift for you guys. Hello. Snooze on that. <laughs> That's another cool thing about arcane builds. Hey there. Interesting choice standing in that tank. Truly. Whoa. Endure with the katana. Interesting, interesting. I did some work for them, actually. Oh, destroyed by that, honestly. Hey, man. We gotta get rid of tank here. Actually, we can maybe backstab that or kick it. Kicking it would be a good option. Oh, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't get kicked by it, though. Hey, there. A lot of stamina resistance, though. I do notice that. Oh, that stopped the Ash of War. Wow. Backstab. <laughs> this is for the host, actually. There goes, tank. <laughs> Sometimes you have to use the host as bait. That way they actually go in. When one's in danger, they're less coordinated for sure. Whoa. R1. <laughs> I feel like we could actually probably parry him, to be honest, just because of what he's doing. He endures then attacks right away, so. Next time he endures, we're gonna do it. Or he's gonna do it himself. <laughs> Goodbye, Kaguya. <laughs> I didn't expect you to parry. Very unexpected. Interesting, interesting eins. We're gonna have a full caster up here, I'm guessing. All right, we buff up because we're actually close enough, but there is no compass, so they're nearby. Oh, hello, guys. Oh my God, hang on, I have a gift for you, okay? I see that Mogwin sacred spear. <laughs> That's all right, get out of the corner. Hi there. Hello there, Mogwin. That's for you. Oh, that was actually so quick. What? <laughs> Didn't expect that to be so quick. <laughs> Whee. We throw it again. The ultimate counter. Mogwin spear down. <laughs> Whee. That's funny. You want to see these arcane pots are great. Well, sleep pots specifically. 
They counter some corner camping. It's good. Nice. I love that combo. If they get stunned by the bleed after the hit, you get a heavy attack out of it. Depending on when they're stunned. Sometimes they're able to roll, but a lot of the time it works for me. Oh, we have Rita Lee in the War Dead Catacombs. Are you alone, Rita? I've seen an Agakiba. You are not alone. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. Ooh. Fancy. Looks cute. I actually love that Ash. Whoa, not that one. Don't love that Ash. I do want to kind of join in on the Katana memory here though. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> Oh, run, run, my friend, run. <laughs> Burst into blood. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Moonvale Enjoyer. Melina summoned. Oh, that's a backstab. Hello there, David. Hey, man. Ah, oh, Melina. Oh. Melina OP confirmed. David's running. Sorry, David. I must stop you from running. Backstab. Oh, the, the bleed backstab. That's wild. Oh. Hey, David. Are, we, are you ganking here with Melina? Because if so, it's pretty honest. <laughs> Although she's got a lot of HP. I don't know how honest it is. She's actually so strong and annoying. <laughs> hey, Dave. What do we want to finish Dave with? A dagger, probably. Yeah, goodbye, David. <laughs> the Lonely Boy Gank. We used to get some of those in Dark Souls 3. They'd have like two or three of the NPCs. <laughs> They're interesting, because you don't really kill the NPCs because of how tanky they are. Well, I guess Melina is not the worst. Oh, a jelly. Hello there. And a summoning phantoms. Oh. Well. You know, we haven't done any bow memes yet. Hey there. Boop. No way he lived. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no way you're living twice, man. That's crazy. Okay, hey, come back here. Sorry I ambushed you. But you guys looked like you were waiting to ambush me. You had a great bow, and you were chilling by a ledge. That only means one thing. You're running out of room to run away here. Whee! <laughs> the bleed. The almighty bleed. Oh. <laughs> oh, such a good Ash of War. Sorry, guys. I was ready for you. I spawned optimally. <laughs> Not down there. The Altus Plateau. Ooh, we don't get to invade here too often. I think this is one of my favorite areas. Like Leandell. Overall, the, the yellow color scheme I like. What's going on here? Hello, guys. Blythe face. Wait, is that the, is that the octopus face? Hello. How are you? And then Fridum. Hello. What are we doing, though? Do you even have a casting tool? I'm hoping you do, otherwise... You're barehanding it. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I knew that was going to combo. Unfortunate. We'll give him a bow. Ooh, okay, what kind of build are you rocking? Arcane, maybe? Possibly? A fellow arcane enjoyer? Doesn't enjoy being in close quarters, I can tell you that much. I never expect everyone to go for the follow-up on that, but it has really good hyper armor, apparently, so does Curse Blood Slice, though. I went right through it. <laughs> Oh, perfect. What do we have here? Zariela. Hello there. Oh my god. Bleed versus bleed. How's it going? Dual spears. Hello. 
Dual Moogs at that. Do you have teammates though? I feel like a build like this will always have teammates. Into this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. This weapon is crazy. Hey there. Do you want to go for your bubble? I would be down. I want to see if I can just backstab you. Never mind. Well. Fun fight, man. I don't see dual mobs too often, to be honest. I see dual lances often. Oh, hello there, Cal. What is this? Dexterity, it seems. Hello. I'm also a man of the decks currently. Yes, let's buff up you and I. Are you ready, Cal? Do you have a teammate? I'd rather if you did. You do. Well, he's dead. This is for you, Cal. Oh, I didn't think you were gonna get stunned by the bleed. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that works so often. Sorry, Cal. I don't know why you were split so far from your phantom. What did he even die to? Something up here? Oh, the great bow knight, maybe? That's funny. The Lindell Royal Capital with Overlord. Overlord looks like he's got a teammate. Wait. Maybe? Yep. Some type of madness going on somewhere. Hey, man. Shh. He doesn't notice me yet. Hello. Oh, no. No. You could have backstabbed me. I'm so glad you didn't. I wanted to surprise him, but... Yes. Let the flame stun you. Oh. Sorry, Overlord. I did take out your phantom. Um... We can do some fun things with you, though. I'm a fan of this. Oh. Oh. Overlord with the scythe. Oh my god. Wonder if you could backstab using that. Probably not, but... Yeah, too much recovery time. That'd be cool. I'll <laughs> 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 give him a bow. That was kind of funny. That reminds me so much of people just doing that with a split leaf from Dark Souls 3. It was good times. All right, those are all the invasions that I have for you guys for today with the Dexterity Arcane build. I hope everyone enjoyed the invasions. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore. The only important one is really the Mask of Confidence as it gives you three extra arcane. These are the talismans that I used. I swapped around the first one depending on what I needed. And then of course, all the different weapons that I used as well. Although we mainly focused on the Morgoth's Curse Sword. This thing is just way too fun. I find it very effective in invasions as well. If you guys have any recommendations for any more dexterity arcane weapons, feel free to comment them below. I'm always trying to add to my inventory. And if you guys have any recommendations for any builds, weapons, or themed videos overall, feel free to comment those below as well. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.